don't think there's anybody out there watching this who didn't play with Lego as a kid. And really, the things that you could build were limited only by the imagination you had, the pieces you had, and the bad words your father said when he stepped on him in his bare feet. But somewhere along the line, building things got complicated and became a chore instead of fun. Things like, you know, say, headers, for example. I'm here at Trick Tools, I've got Victor with me, and he's gonna explain to me what I'm looking at here that really puts, the, let's face it, the fun back into fabrication, right? That's right, that's right. What we did here is trying to precisely turn the whole thing around building headers and make it fun again. Uh, well, it's never been fun, really. So what we're trying to do is just break that spell and create a system or a method that actually can predictably take you from design all the way to completion without really error, making any errors. So now you're starting with these snap together pieces. This is step one, correct? Right. What we did is develop, you know, we developed blocks that uh, essentially are, you know, snappable, just like, like if they were toys. We gave them each one exactly one inch in arc length, so you're able to control lengths. And they, uh, then with that, we're able to create strings of assemblies, you know, tubular assemblies that take the shape of whatever is needed based on your specific application. If you want to dodge, you know, steering rods or brake boosters or simply find the appropriate length that you need. It's all a matter of just counting blocks and finding the way to snake those things around. So you can mock up the complete exhaust in basically the real space that it's going to live and come up with a design that you can actually build. Our product is real-time, full-scale, immediate feedback. So if, it, if you're hitting something with the plastic blocks, don't even try in metal because it won't work either. So we're all the mistakes, all the errors we're doing at the level of the plastic and it takes a second to essentially change the shape, change the route, instead of throwing away metal. So now once you've got that all worked out, then we move on to step two, and this is where you're gonna save a lot of headaches and a lot of material. Right. Same thing, you know, you develop the model, you create the cutting guide that will tell us exactly what we need to cut, and we got straight into the cutting and cutting exactly what we need, nothing else, nothing more, and then we can bring back those equivalents in metal to be able to replicate the exact same shape that we did in plastic, now with metal. So now when you do this worksheet, this tells you exactly how many U-bends you need, exactly how many welds you're going to be putting together, so you can accurately estimate how much work and how much money you're going to have into this project. Yes, what we created is exactly the brain of the project. It tells you how much material you need of what type in terms of bends, and it tells you how many cuts, how many welds. So all that you can put a price tag to and be able to quote the entire job just by looking at the plastic part, and it takes literally minutes. So you've laid out all your cuts, you've made them accurately, you're not wasting material. Then finally, the, 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 the real crowning step here is being able to put this together accurately. Because a lot of the time, a project like this hangs up on the final assembly where your tolerances stack and all of a sudden you've got a big problem. Yeah, and for that we develop our welding clamps that change also the game of tacking. You know, in the past we used to tack one section at a time because we only got two hands. So with this same system, you're able to shape the entire thing, be able to work all the rotations on each joint until everything matches. When you're comfortable with that, when you have concentric joints that are gapless, then you just tack weld all at once, and it simplifies the project. Now, where can people go to find out more information about this or order the, order the system and get started on their own? You can follow us directly through Ice Engine Works, or you can follow us uh, through Trick Tools. It's one of our distributors, and uh, you know, give us a call. Well, I gotta say, it's awesome the way that you've taken something that normally would be a chore and turned it into something that's fun that people actually look forward to doing. For Power Auto Media, I'm Paul Husinga. This is the 2015 PRI Show. Keep it right here. We got a whole lot more to show you.